There's never a good time for the power to go out. When it does go off, we all want the same thing, for it to come back on as soon as possible. Simply resetting your circuit breakers can sometimes restore your power. The process is simple and will only take a couple of minutes. This is much quicker than our troubleshooter can arrive at your address to investigate a reported power outage. Some clues the outage might be a result of your breaker opening include the power went off while you were using an appliance, such as a hair dryer, oven, space heater, air conditioner, microwave, or clothes dryer, or only part of your home is without power. For example, you have power in the bedrooms, but not in the kitchen or the first floor has power but none upstairs or your neighbors all seem to have power but you do not or you have a digital electric meter and can still see its display this means there's power getting to the meter if there is no display there's no power getting to the meter circuit breakers are one of the most important safety mechanisms in your home whenever electrical wiring has too much current flowing through it the breakers will open and cut the power until the problem can be fixed Without the breakers, there would be nothing to prevent 50 amps of electricity from running through a 15 amp wire. Allowing too much current to flow through a wire can greatly increase the potential for a fire. The electrical panel, which holds the circuit breakers, is often placed in an inconspicuous location, like inside a closet, garage, or basement. The circuit breakers are stacked inside the panel and have a lever or button that places each one in the on or off position. You'll also see a large circuit breaker at the top of the panel, called the main, which controls the power to all the circuit breakers below it. In some areas, the main breaker is found outside the building, near the electrical meter. Be sure you check your main breaker along with the others. A circuit breaker that's been tripped will be in either the middle or off position. Before you reset it, think safety first and turn off or unplug all of the devices that are plugged into the circuit. You want to be sure there are no dangerous conditions before you restore the power. To reset a circuit breaker that is tripped, push the breaker all the way to the off position and then back to the on position. Often, when you cannot reset the breaker, it's because it must be turned all the way to the off position first. If the circuit breaker trips again before you've turned anything on or plugged anything in, the breaker itself may need to be replaced, or a serious wiring fault may exist. Immediately call a qualified electrician. If the circuit breaker trips after plugging in or turning on a device, that device may have a short, or it may be placing too much of a load on the circuit. If you've reset your breakers and still do not have power coming into your home, please call Pacific Power anytime at 1-877-508-5088 to report your outage. We'll have someone investigate the issue as soon as possible. Let's turn the answers on.